The complex relationship between Taiwan, the United States, and China has been the subject of ongoing media coverage in recent weeks, prompting many to speculate about the future course of action for each country. During the TVBS meeting room with commentator Wen Qiyu on Monday, February 13th, former U.S. National Security Advisor John Bolton weighed in on the matter, offering his thoughts on the next steps the U.S. and Taiwan should take. Bolton recommended abandoning the notion of strategic ambiguity, which he believes may now embolden Chinese aggression instead of deterring it. Now, part of deterring Beijing from invading or trying to blockade Taiwan uh, is to is to show American commitment. So I think we should abandon the idea of strategic ambiguity. Uh, I think it served its purpose and its time, but I think now it may encourage Chinese aggression more than uh, deter it. Bolton also recommended that the U.S. and Taiwan have full diplomatic relations, despite Beijing's show of disapproval. Yes, I, I think there should be full diplomatic relations, and if Beijing doesn't like it, they, they can take whatever steps they want. But the idea that somehow we have to condition our foreign policy uh, to suit Beijing's domestic political view of its relationship with Taiwan, to me, is unacceptable. Still, many Taiwanese and people in Washington, D.C. are worried that the tension across the Taiwan Strait could rise even more. But Bolton views it otherwise. I, I don't think there's any chance of a conflict. I think Beijing is bluffing on that score. However, Bolton still advocates for U.S. military presence in Taiwan to train and assist the country and to show the U.S. and Europe that it is prepared to, quote, fight for its independence. Uh, to make it clear what we have said repeatedly uh, since 1949, that uh, military aggression uh, to reunite the China is unacceptable, uh, and that we're going to act uh, in support of the commitments, the obligations that we, the United States, have. I think supplying more effective weapon systems to Taiwan, training and assisting Taiwan's military, encouraging Taiwan to make it very clear to the U.S. and, and uh, Europe in particular that it is prepared, like the Ukraine, like mm -hmm. the Ukraine, to fight for its independence. Hopefully it won't come to that, but I think that needs to be made clear. Bolton points out that having more American forces in Taiwan and having other Asian Indo-Pacific countries stand behind Taiwan can convince China that, quote, it has far more to lose in being aggressive toward Taiwan than it could possibly gain. But I think Taiwan should now try to take advantage of the menace that China is posing and that is more and more visible around the world. This is a moment, I think, that Taiwan can begin to escape the diplomatic isolation that Beijing has tried to enforce uh, uh, in, in, in the past several decades. Wen Xiu, Jamie Lin Pinzon, TVBS World Taiwan. That uh, that the the problems each individual country has have to be.